Hello. So we are back Monday morning. And I had a nice surprise when I came in the morning. <clears throat> I can't show you the name. But look here. And he sent me a voucher. I just eat voucher. I just want to say thank you. I, I know I know I know I know who sent it. And uh, you know what? There are people. Uh, they just enjoy supporting me, and I want to say thank you. Even on Patreon, I have like old, old uh, people on the Patreon, on YouTube uh, uh, membership, and uh, I just want to say thank you. You know, it, it, it kind of makes me feel bad because I can't give you anything on return. You know, I wish, on some point, I think, you know, I should do some private videos and share them only on, uh, uh, you know, Patreon and for uh, YouTube members. But that will not be fair. You know, that's not the idea of the channel of me making money. It's just, you know, I enjoy sharing whatever I'm doing here. But I just want to say thank you. Uh, but you know what? It's it's coming on, on quite a bad moment because I stopped. I stop with the sugar and I stop eating rubbish. Yeah, so no more McDonald's and KFC and nothing, you know? I'm not. I'm just try to try just to have a healthy lifestyle. But well, thank you. What do we have today? We have a proper rubbish TV. Trust me, I swear I never seen uh, TV more rubbish like the, the, this one. It's 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 insane on on what direction the technology is going. And this is a Samsung TV. Let me see the model number. So it's a Samsung UE fifty TU five zero two zero K. This is this is insane. Yeah, look at the video how this TV has to be open. So it's screwless, no screws. Even the motherboard doesn't have screws. Yeah, it's on with some plastic clips. So check here. Yeah, that's just uh, a video. It's another TV, but it's looking exactly the same how it's supposed uh, this TV to to be open. Now, when you try to open, uh, when you try to open the TV, actually you you will see the frame of the screen carving, and then you see the the, the actually the metal frame of the screen coming off and. It's insane, you know. I'm happy I didn't damage the the screen. Hopefully, but it's just crazy how this TV is built. It's like you know, it's it's it's, it's crazy. It's insane. It's so poor quality, you know. You try to open and everything is carbon. The screen, the metal frame, and you'll see the. Okay, anyway, yeah, look, you you know, you remember what you said, sorry, you are dodgy. You remember, when I put, instead of the fuse, I use wires and say, look, this is a proper calibrated fuse. Because you said, so much joke, you know, oh, sorry, that's a proper calibrated fuse. What shocked me was the fact that the, the cable, the, the customer cable was blow up, yeah, the fuse. And then I use my cable. Yeah, this cable. So obviously, no point when you test a thing. You, you well, we just got the job like one hour ago, half an hour ago. We test with our cable. Obviously, I'm not the one plugging in. I give to the uh, the other guy Ash to plug it in. It was like a loud bump, uh, boom, and uh, the fuse blow up. The fuse from my cable. This is weird. So we know they are protected, yeah, they have fuses, they have things. How you can blow up two fuses, two cables? This is a five amps one, yeah? And uh, this board blow up this fuse. It means one, means, what can mean? It means that the fuse from here is higher than five amps? No, okay? So the fuse of this one, let's check together. That's the fuse, 5 amps, yeah? But this fuse is good. If I take, get a multimeter and I check, I check diode mode. 
zero. The fuse is good. Okay. What does mean? Does mean either this fuse is not five amps. It's saying it's five amps, but actually it's not five amps. Or the fuse from my cable is faster and compared with this one. This can be like a slow fuse. But either way, you know, I don't believe these are like proper calibrator. If it's like a five amp fuse, okay, exactly when it reaches five amps, it will blow up. Anyway. The idea is we plug two cables and blow up both. And probably if we plug out the third one, it will blow up again. So let's fix this board. This is everything on that TV. Eh? There's nothing else. That's the board from that TV. Nothing else. We're probably disappointed about the quality of, the, of this TV. Even the board was flexing inside because it's on plastic fingers. You see this round thing? Yeah. And it's sliding, you can see it has some slides, it's sliding on, uh, but it's flexing, it's, it's, it's just poor quality. I will not buy this TV. Let's see, so we have a short, obviously, we blow up the, the cable. The schematic, we have the input, we have the fuse, we have a thermistor, probably. I don't think it's a varistor, but we can check. No, probably this one is a varistor or not let's see let's take this thing out the the cover and let's try to fix it can be an easy job can be a hard one i can't see anything damage i can't see anything damage on the board do you see anything i can't everything looks fine the capacitor looks good doesn't look like it's blow up so we have the high voltage area which is here and most likely the fault is here okay now let's get the cover, the, the protective cover from the back. Let's try to fix it. The schematic of this one, the schematic is... We have a PFC circuit here. PFC or PCFP, power factor correction circuit here on the input. Then we have a main... Uh, chopper here nothing special But the way how they build the TV, so I took out the clamps, yeah, and you have to force with something. Force against what? Against the back, the back of the screen, the frame, which is insanely, you know, it's it, 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 it very flexible. And you're just making a loud pop, and you can see the screen flexing, vibrating. It, it, it's just crazy. And I was speaking, you know, I was speaking with the people here, like, you see, everything is going like poor quality on these days. Why do you think they quit using screws? Just to make the TV cheaper. No, actually, not to make the TV cheaper, but to make more money. Or make the product cheaper for them, not for you. Or maybe for you, who knows. It's proper bad quality. Poor quality, sorry, not bad. Because inside is just electronics. Electronic is electronics. So we took the thingy out. So let's follow the schematic. So we do have the input from the mains. We have two, uh, you know, the shunk thing, shunk thingy to eat any and keep any signal in, any switching is kept in inside it's not going outside to the main and also any electric shock which is coming from the main it will be eaten by these coils or transformers and here we have the rectifier bridge so first what I will check I will check the rectifier bridge that's the first thing what I will check so let's see on the AC side on the AC side, we don't have a short. That's AC. Short means zero, and it's not zero. 
and on the plus and minus and it's not it's not sure that's a bit insane I think the high voltage transformer this one is separated by this part is separated by the, by this PS uh, PFC circuit because the power is coming through a diode if I remember let's see if we can find the diode so the power goes first here yeah here and here we have a capacitor no here we have here we have the transformer okay from the transformer okay we have this switching thingy and from here we should have a diode right <clears throat> yeah we do have a diode but on this side you see those diodes here so I will check the minus with the plus of the diode and it's not short okay that's weird So the PFC circuit is good, it's not shorted. Now let's see. Let me understand what's happening here, yeah? We do have a big switching uh, MOSFET here. So from, from the rectifier bridge, bridge is going straight here to this transformer to this from from this transformer this one yeah so this is the pfc and the pfc has this yeah this is the driver but i don't understand this is driven by who by those little uh, mosfets this is driven by yeah I believe yes because I can't see anything connected here so must be those MOSFETs from here and here let's check them this is fine this one is fine and this one is fine my multimeter is fine so what's wrong with this TV then <laughs> it's nothing shorted but I'm sure if I put now the power supply, it will blow up. If I plug the cable. You see, this is a proper bad fault. Because probably if I will use a bigger fuse, and it will, I will blow it up at least one more time, probably the component which is shorted, it will go to completely short. Now we have a short on a component which is getting short shorted after high voltage. But checking just with the multimeter, keep in mind the multimeter probably has 5 volts. Uh, it will not show, show like shorted. No, this is the varistor. Well, this is fine, it's not shorted. So one more time, yeah, one more time. <clears throat> and the capacitor, checking straight on the capacitor, and it's not short, you can see on the multimeter. What I will do, I will take the power supply, because the multimeter has 5 volts, but the power supply has 13, 30. And I will come with the power supply on the rectifier bridge. 
minus plus and it's no short okay now I will jump with the power supply I will keep the ground here and I will jump straight to the plus of the capacitor because I believe the capacitor it's after the PFC circuit and the steel is no short wow so what can be folded then <laughs> this is a tricky repair The dials from the rectifier bridge are fine. And I don't want to blow up the board. I don't want to plug the cable because most likely the power will go off and I will lose the recording. We can have a closer uh, look on the varistor. I remember on every video I made, people saying use a light bulb on the serial mode with the TV. No, the varistor looks fine. It is a downside using this, and I blow up few power supply in this way. Actually, when you use something in a serial mode with a board, the power, it will go slowly up because you have to charge the capacitor. Maybe now it's different on these uh, new boards with the capacitor. It's actually the, it's, it's a, you have a smaller capacitor, but on that time, one of the color TVs with big, has big capacitor and every time when I'm uh, I was using something on a serial mode like even a resistor you can use like 10 ohms you know the ceramic big ceramic resistors and um, yeah the the power goes slowly up and uh, you can have the wave shape you you can have a different wave shape wave wave shape sent to the MOSFET and it will blow up the MOSFET But like how I said, that's happening like 10 years ago. No, I'm pretty, in, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty interested to see what the people think. So what do you think is the problem? Because I have no idea, you know, I'm not like a magician. But something is short, they blow up two cables. Something must be faulty. But what? So, either some capacitor, like this, I don't know, probably like this, but the chance is not that high. Or a rectifier bridge, hide and fold, or the PFC circuit somehow is faulty the driver but it's not showing me on testing actually it's not shorted if it's not shorted what you can do nothing it's not short Okay, let me find a light bulb. Yeah, give me a second.
Let's try. Plus minus, and it's not sure. So this short happening only when you come with high voltage. And I don't have a light bulb here. But even if you have a light bulb, how, can, how that can help you? Because you'll see light bulb lighting up fully. And you don't know if the short is here before the rectifier bridge or after the rectifier bridge. Only if you start removing components, then we can figure it out. Yeah. We can even use something else. We can use a transformer, a linear transformer, but we don't have a linear transformer. What else you can use? You can use a heater, my heater. That would be a good idea. The heater is working with AC, eh? I think, yes, I think it's a good idea to use my heater in a serial mode with the TV, okay? Let me grab another cable, which I can cut it. Okay, so I grab a cable. Let's cut the cable. Let me unplug it. Okay. So we need one cable here, right? And we need a second cable. Huh? No. No, actually we don't need a second cable. We can use this cable. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Let's do it. Let's do it. Don't do it. Don't play with these things. <laughs> So I will go with the blue wire, yeah? But it really doesn't matter with what wire we are going. Okay? Good blue wire. Let's cut the blue wire. Now let me grab the this thingy. Don't do it. Yeah, these are you know it's playing with power. It's it's, it's dangerous. Yeah. Just take this like entertainment, nothing else.
So we have this. Well, light bulb, yeah, that would be a nice option, like, you know, the old uh, light bulb with, uh, not the, the new ones with LED, not that ones, the old ones, 100 watts, or even 200 watts, it will do the job. So now in the worst case scenario, the heater, it will start to generate its heat. Okay, so we plug this in a serial mode. Now I will plug it. It's a bit short. Well, let's see. So, and we have to check on this side, yeah? Let me... Yes. And I will plug it right now. Wow. <sighs> what was that? Plastic. Thingy from here. <laughs> what? What is smoke here? Okay, let me lower the power on the because this is a two, two kilowatts, uh, two kilowatts uh, heater. But even that's weird because the fuse didn't blow up, and this is burned. Look here, you see this? This is burned. Well, I think I found the problem. Okay, it's not even point playing. But check there, check inside. So the problem is right here. Yeah, it's not even point to check. So I believe this is not from now, this is from before. So I don't want to be funny, but that looks like an insect. So you see, it's, it's carbonized. You can see it. This is carbonized, and this, I swear, this is an insect. This is like cockroach. So check this. You can see the ants. It's some kind of insect. So probably that's how. Uh, Probably this TV was killed by cockroach. What do you think? Crazy. And yeah, the socket is burned. That's the problem. Does this TV is blowing up the fuse without any reason? Yeah. But you see, like, we, we have like a visual indicator, everything starts smoking here. But just think, if I didn't have the heater, this thing would blow up again. All what we have to do is to remove this socket. Really doubt we, I can find another one, but I we can try to find another socket.
Okay, now we find the socket, yeah? Give me one second. Well, you know, I didn't expect actually the socket is to be the problem. I didn't expect that. Where can I find one? But I cannot use this one. So even if I do a dodgy thing, I still cannot use it because this is vertical Maybe we can find a power supply, yeah? One second. If we can find a power supply, we'll use that port. it hmm so what do you think we can use this one Let me break it. <sighs> Give me one second.
Now, let's be honest, what you'll do? Because you know how it is. I seen the fault and I told the customer, you know what? Just come back three hours. Three hours, I'll be ready. Because whatever is faulty, I can fix it, like a MOSFET. Like whatever is there. I know, it's, if it's a, power, a shorter power supply, I can fix it. Most likely, not always. So I told him to come back later. So we have to fix it. <laughs> but one more time. So the cockroach goes inside of the of the port. And then the the port explodes. This is karma probably. Okay, one problem, our uh, port is too bigger, it's too big, but I don't think that's a problem, because it is space here, yeah, so we have space, yeah? Huh? It's okay? Will be working? Let's see. Actually, on this case, it will be more dodgy if we will fix the original port. That seems a little bit too dodgy. You don't think? It's still, you know, you're playing with 220 volts. So let's say even if I clean and I isolate with some hot glue, it still looks dodgy. And yeah, that's the reason why the fuse from the board didn't blow up. Because the short was on the inside of this port. So actually on the fuse, the fuse didn't get any any power. Maybe I can use hot air to take this out. So the old port is out. Now the new port
I'll get a solar iron. I'll change the tip. I'll get another tip which I'm using to melt plastic. This one. Yeah, I don't have a Dremel or something to cut. Let's make it nice. I know it looks like a long job, but you know. 50 inch TV to be fixed. I think the money is worth the time. Hmm? Looks okay. Actually, instead of doing this kind of job, you really wish to be something else faulty. Just because it will take a lot of time. So the port doesn't look bad. But I still need some toning here. This has to go more here inside. So we have to melt this.
Okay, now it's going on the back. But still, the port has to come out through this thingy. Yeah, you know what happened with the TV? Huh? You know why the TV blow up when you plug the cable? A cockroach go on the on, on the power connector, yeah. Yeah, and the power connector get burned inside. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I have to modify the thingy because we don't have something like that. And I promise the customer will be done today. But you know what is strange? It's no cockroach inside of the TV. So how that... Maybe it's not a cockroach, maybe it's just a bug. It looks like a cockroach. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. I can see on the clips, so they are on the place. Perfect. All we have to do is to solder the wires. So you have blue. No, the live one is blue, right? I don't think it's matter, but let's do it. Brown for the live wire? And blue for neutral wire. Okay, that's good to know. So we are fine. You sure? So the brown one is the live wire. And the blue for neutral. Okay. Okay. We are fine then. So brown live wire is there. All we have to do is to solder the wires.
let me change the tip. Someone asked what happened with the old Hako soldering wire. I give to Christian, my colleague. I say, you know what, look, this is a present. This is an expensive present, so enjoy it. <laughs> but he's not complaining. So you see, even if you do dodgy things, like, okay, you do, you, you, you did a mistake, you still have the fuse on the cable, so you are still protected on the end of the day, you know? It's not like, okay, I done, done a mistake and uh, the house will go on fire. Okay, let's solder the wires. So we have the blue one here, the neutral. And the brown one. Good. And we are fine. That's all. All we need now is some hot glue, like usual. And I think we are ready to test this. Good. Perfect. It's solid anyway because the, the port can't go uh, behind because he has the board. So all what is left is to test it. But you need to have some patience to put the board back. You're not even pointing texting testing the board here because I'm sure it's working. Let me put it back and then we can uh, I can show you that video. Awesome. Yeah I forgot the the thingy, this one. And the way how the board is flexing, I think it's a good idea this to be here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me just uh, one minute.
Hey, it's all done. Yeah. So check there. You can see it. Huh? Uh, I think you can see it. Yeah. It's the TV is there, and uh, it's working. Okay. So I'll stop this video now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. I'll put the TV all back together. Bye.